Good morning, sir, and welcome to the program. Good morning, Lambrano. Um, Good morning, listeners. Which, which wing do you play now? Ah, I have moved from the left flank, mm. which was in an attacking position. Now, I did as a defending mid midfielder, mm -hmm. defensive midfielder. So I did, I did number six. Number six. Mm. You did play direct. Um, today you've been the go and come. I remember the last year. Yeah, that, was, that was on the wings. Yes, you've been the spend some time. Now I'm central. Okay. The central defensive midfielder. So the number don't change from AK-11 to... No, no, I'm still AK-11. It's just as I've been reposted. Okay. AK-11 is my moniker. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, congratulations Thank on your you. new um, position and um, as um, presidential spokesman. Do, do you feel, um, you know, you served as spokesman for the former president, Dr. Yes. Ernest Paikuma. Yes. You served as a spokesman for uh, President Bio again yes. in his second term. Yes. Do you see yourself as a lucky person in the past uh, in the 10 years, 11 years you did in this role? They talk for um, the demand for the country? Indeed, indeed. I feel lucky and I feel humbled for talk for big man. We, in the whole country, put their hope and trust, man. They say, you can't be possible when it can be message go and bring word come for me from me people then. I didn't say that and in a big honor. I really feel lucky. I tell God thank you for that. Thank you. What's in the um, special thing where you do, you know, as 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 an individual, you know, if if you check government, the people and we don't stay inside like government for the past, you were in parliament, from parliament you come, you and the former president come into governance, you've been in governance for eleven years. And in the last, uh, say, five years or so, you've been in governance again. Uh, what's in this, you know, thing where Alaji Alpha can they do, where make, would I ever come for one for get them na, na, na the governance system for work? Yeah. Well, maybe that should be for ask the people that we... But you must get some special quality as well, where you believe. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's know. special. Yeah. I wouldn't say, nah, for be committed to the truth and committed to serving your country when you serve mortal man and you put all you focus on that forgetting your other duties to country and the constitution you will fall when you know the again but if your focus is the country like when you serve god now god no more they serve your focus is the country and your people. If person know the, the next one where they come, they go say, ah, this person has one. <coughs> now person we he don't focus on the constitution. He don't focus on who that they in charge at the moment and where to do the right things for him people. So maybe that's the kind of person I want for Nike Day with me. And me, as a day, I've always told you, and I never veered away from it, me to serve the country, the country in which I was born, bred, and I did it today. We are now welcome, as I am as welcome here, anywhere else. We are feel proud of, we are no one let anything happen to them. We are going to feel ashamed of people and poor in him. We, we lost game at the filler, the go who lost our final. Mm -hmm. Now the African Cup of Nations. I felt it for the whole day. You know, it even changed me mood small. And that same day, the now influence them you announced me mm -hmm. as a minister for the Northwest region. Mm -hmm. So I think since you know, say, this man is so lacking country. <laughs> he could do bad now. Let me uplift him a little bit. Now wake me, wake me, Nanet. Say, you don't hear you don't appoint you. That changed my mood small. Otherwise, I'm for sulk all right through the night. And I believe a lot of people felt that too. So really, when you focus on uh, the nation, you focus on the constitution, you focus on God, you can't go wrong. If you focus on mortal man no more, he might not be there tomorrow. He can die. Or he come out, what you go do? So put not your trust 
in man. But in all those things that God has made lawful for the existence of man on earth. And in this case, we have the guidance in both the Holy Bible and the Holy Quran. And I stick to those. You've been got a position um, where uh, I'm sure you were sitting in cabinet. You were, you were a cabinet um, minister. As well. In the last one. In the last one, the, the position we've been getting. But a now, you, rank. yes, a cabinet rank. Now you're just a spokesman. Are you um, surprised at the. Hey, is he just a spokesman? Hey, it's not just a spokesman. Mm. I'm oh, a spokesman did, did for the president. You're sitting at cabinet as well? Uh, no, I haven't been. That's, I haven't picked up my letter yet. Okay. My letter will tell me what my limits are. Mm -hmm. But for being a spokesman for the president, I did not a spokesman no more. Mm -hmm. The leader, the president of the country, you know, your spokesman. What it means is that almost every day, you they get quality time with them. When he is up, when he is down, when he has issues that he needs to uh, articulate, he will call you. So for me, that did not just a spokesman. Mm. And at the age where I don't know, I think say that's the right thing for me. Because, you know, for So you the, prefer, uh, mm. uh, you know, for play this single role than having two portfolios. You get for go Port Loco or the South, uh, the Northeast. The Port Loco, I would the, go anyway. The Northwest, I mean, you get for the cover that vast The area, Northwest been get issues mm. at the time when President being, well, I mean, there were a lot of problems in most of the chiefdoms. There were a lot of problems with the poaching in the Utamba Kilimi forest. A lot of uh, illegal mining when they go on in the Kaba River now, uh, with foreigners coming into the country and all that. And foreigners even coming armed into the street. So you needed somebody who uh, was one from the area and two, we get experience in things like that. I was a mining engineer. And I had worked in those areas. And of course, I mean, don't get experience from politics. So he bring me, send me there, and thank God, since I went there, the first few months were a bit rough, because we been here for firefight, run from one uh, chaotic area to the next, crossing rivers on canoes and things, going into forests at night to chase poachers. But at the end of the day, with the support of my team out there and the ONS, with the chiefs to be able to control the situation. And of course, when you really want to uh, succeed in uh, anything, the area where you're in, the people they're within at the ground, and for be your guide. So I relied a lot on the youth from the area. Because strangers don't come for car mine or for car poach for elephant tusks from within your territory where you know they know. So you co opt them. You make them your friends, you make them your partners. And they also want to be recognized. And when you do that, then go pull them close to where I'm for fit, for help, for letting go right. And that is what happened in most of those areas. So I guess I say thanks to the youth na Tambaha, the youth na carry the district, and all they helped us for make we control the situation for now. It's been quiet ever since. So because it's unquiet, and I've been there also as a left winger when the game in the play. Mm -hmm. Now the game don't they uh, stabilize. So I've been pulled back now into a central defensive role. We now uh, a number six position, but I'm still AK-11. Okay. That's my name. <laughs> um, honorable Afakan, no yes. talk now, you know, bring into consideration the fact that President Bill, they call on everybody, you know, for work together, considering now you don't come, you were part of APC and the alliance from KKY and the position now, we, you know, it, it, it can, it's supposed for hold in few moments, few time from now, we then would approve them. You know, agriculture and the flagship program of President Bill, and you talk just now about youth employment. How, you know, collaborative that don't show from the SLPP's, you know, side of governance? In terms of integrating yes. other people from other parties? Exactly. And all, yes. I think it has been really uh, fulfilling. The impact we, the alliance of uh, 
Honorable Dr. Kande Umkela don't bring, and other party leaders from the other seven or so parties that had identified with President in call for Progressive Alliance, including myself and Honorable Victor Fo. I know see a lot of people from the APC, the progressives who wouldn't say anything. They would just act. I know see them people then they be happy about that call. And it tells in the results of the elections. So the impact is very clear. For a difference of nearly half a million votes, in an election where there were only about 90,000 votes difference in 2012, I'm sorry, 18, usually when a head of state, they work, in popularity from the time he or she is uh, voted in, to the time where they go for a second term, that popularity they reduce. But because you make a lot of mistakes around the line. But as you go, President Bio in the rectify, is he calling people to come let us work. So that by the time he got to the second term, his popularity is almost skyrocketing. I saw that myself because I go with him almost every chiefdom in this country. And who say ever he go, even small picking in the hala, Madabio, Madabio, even when they're not able to start the talk. The other day, I know the house. When I come, I have a grandchild of about four years. As I come, my mama tell me, say, hey, this way, this Alfina, oh, as she got no money, she begins sing. I go vote for my She's only four years old. So the thing don't drill down to every level. I see that in the villages too. So this alliance not be the right direction. Naim President Bio been played. And Dr. Kande Yumkela is no mean individual. Man of high caliber man of high intellect, a man of great international exposure, a man who has had extensive experience, the work na the, one of the highest levels of international uh, service, having been the director general for eight years of UNIDO. Also, you don't be as, uh, what do you call them, assistant secretary general? Mm -hmm. It don't also be a champion for the UN for renewable energy and climate change. And for the agriculture. When we talk agriculture in Syria, we really mean food security, we want what we eat. Mm -hmm. We're not even thinking about cash crops. There are very few cash crops we get, so the export. When we talk about agriculture, now what we eat. And invariably in arrest. Kande Yunkela was born in the rice fields of Rowala in Samu. So from childhood, he grew up in an environment where food security was the order of the day. Where we were born, we have come from the area, didn't they? We come all over Samu, in Komo Samu. When we were small, well, people they know they're going to make it for go by anything. No? Because they get out your box in the pantry. It's a whole thing day. I didn't need to keep the food. That was the food security uh, storage. The ICC you know, you know when they want to cook, they just say, you know, go look at the box. Rest day day, pamai day day, fish day day. All things you just will pull you go. So that daily chore of going to look for, you know, be there because we'll be there safe. We'll work towards that. So I'm sure he's coming with that experience into the uh, position the president don't put her now as being mm -hmm. the chairman of the presidential initiative for food security. We're inborn inside food security uh, establishment for renewable energy. We don't champion some of the outreaches of the UN on renewable energy, and of course climate change. We, I think, I would not say he's an expert,
But he has rubbed shoulders with people like Al Gore and John Kerry, when they win a champion for the promotion of climate change in the world. I think it was a good choice. I am sure he was consulted before those positions were put together. And I know the ego accept them with a relish. I see in tweet. <laughs> we really should say happy. So I don't think it was a mistake at all. And you don't should say when President Bill say we go work. It means say we go work. So expanding beyond that, I just been to listen to the parliamentary speaker, Dr. Abbas Bundu. Say they throw an olive branch. Mm -hmm. President Bill don't do that. Right from day one. That's the swear I mean. And again, let like, just mention something. Because some people in the great right say President Bill they hurriedly swear I mean. If they not be hurriedly swear I mean, we all been for be treasonous. Because constitution say, as soon as the result is announced, the winner of that election should be sworn in within an hour. So there was no hurry. We just follow the Constitution. I talked yesterday, na 98.1 democracy. I say, President Bio has not changed a full stop, a comma, on anything that was written in 1991 under the late President Joseph Said Momo as the 1991 Constitution. He not changed nothing. What he's doing is following it strictly. That is the guide. Mm -hmm. In much the same way as the Quran and the Holy Bible are also guides. So that's what he's doing. And what is happening now in Sierra Leone is that other people want him to veer away from that. How do you expect President Bio his government or any member of his government for order a rerun of an election when that can only be done by a court of law? And you don't already eschew the idea of going to a court of law. So you see, when we keep to the law, where we say right, when I say we, I mean, I'll be APC until two months ago. If you don't reach two months, the 28th, now they take two months where I left there. I left on the 28th April. Mm -hmm. And of course, <laughs> in a very right time. And since that has been written, Titi did not change one word inside. During the tenure of the NPRC, let me set up a constitutional review under Pakaba. He looks at it, he gives it back. He says his document is good. Then he patoka when Ernest uh, Kuruma come. He give it back. Then he give it back on. He give a white paper. Will it do we can carry but the constitution of 1990 hasn't been touched. Okay. So everything that's going on today in Sierra Leone, where the government of President Bill, they do. Now waiting the constitution say, and he serves the constitution. There, there is a new chief minister, um, a new minister of communications, innovation and te technology, a new minister of um, information and um, civic education. These are all young people in their thirties, you know, um, are these people you're looking forward to working with and waiting the mean with um, to the new um, you know, administration in the second term of President Bill? For a very long time, the cry of young people and civil society has always been, let government then empower the youth. Let government then empower women. To the point that almost every conference with a whole in country, outside of the country, the special summits them, the call has always been the youth, bring the youth, bring the youth, and that, rightly so. In Sierra Leone, 67% of the population are young people, men and women. So, given power, to young people, especially in key areas, like chief minister, innovation, information, social welfare, I believe that the right thing President Bill don't do. In fact, 
it surprised everybody, including the international community. The people were worried that one day, I think I read somewhere, that one day the youth of Africa, they go grab. Then go rebel for letting take power from the older people. President Bio has just done that for them. It don't achieve the aims of the youth and the women. And if I for add that, that national cohesion with one stroke of the pen, you know, fire one shot. The revolution has succeeded without the youth leading it. It was led by a man who has crossed his youth age. But him having been no old power, when he was a youth, he knew, see, the youth have energy. The youth have determination. The youth have what you call commitment for making them sure see they say we can do something. Like uh, older people, a lot of us have passed our cell by date. We don't do most of the things that we have to do. Anything else what they do now, it's just an icing on the cake. So you need the people who can actually bake the cake. Well, you put the icing on it. And who do that? They are the people with energy. They are the people with innovation. They are people with initiative. And that is the youth. We get something for proof. So I believe, say, the youth of Sierra Leone today. And Africa should take an example from the actions of President Bill that in President Bill, don't give the power to the youth. The youth now have no reason for letting Tina up Nastiti say, we want empowerment, we want empowerment. Don't do it in the street. Mm -hmm. Go to David Senge. Go to Salma Salima Ba. Go to uh, Cherno Ba. Go to uh, Dr. Mahoy. Go to the young people where they're inside. Eh? Say, but we want this thing to happen. Go to the Minister of Sports. Because they are youth like you. What you have been asked for, we will not go on the street, we want this, we want that. And they're not giving us, so you don't need to go to the street anymore. In fact, now we're not the endangered species now with the older people. Now we're not the minority. So if they're not treated, we fine. Now we go go nasty to go protest, say, but they look after we. But this time, President Bill don't reverse. Don't turn the tables upside down, give the power to the youth. I hope they know what to do. I remember a famous uh, statement where Tony Blair, former uh, prime minister of the UK, when we just don't win parliament, win, win election in 2007, he come attend with cabinet, the first cabinet. So he said to us, he said, I said, now, Ernest, you don't uh, win the election now. He said, you know what, in the head of the civil service, sir, whatever, he's a very fearful man when I don't win the election at Sidom. Now he come inside cabinet. And I said, yes, Tony, now you're prime minister. Now what? What next? It's not easy to you know, if you know what you put. So I hope they don't become stupefied and drown in the aura of having the name chief minister, information minister, uh, info communication, tele uh, uh, technology, and, inform and innovation. Those the aura. They don't surround you. We need action. We need an action plan. And the action plan, you have to derive it from the five thematic areas mm -hmm. where President Bill put my manifesto. So I hope on a day they draw our plans. Okay. You may have been caught off guard, but it is a nice surprise for you. And we are looking forward for make when are able for deliver for the youth and for the country. And not only for the youth of Sierra Leone, but for the youth of Africa. This is the first government anywhere in the world. We get as many youth. 36% of them are youth. Nine of them are full cabinet ministers. 30% or 32% of the, 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 the are women. And again, 11 of them are under age 40. So you see,
<laughs> and you therefore they provide that guidance there within, Sorry? Uh, you you therefore they provide the gui guidance within within um government uh, because uh, like you say most of those people are coming in from some from the private sector civil society for the very first time and they need you know somebody we don't spend you spend in um up to 15 years now in in in, in government. government yeah more than that because i was in parliament too yeah exactly at 21 years this now Mm. That's great experience. Unbroken. Yes, if asked. But for now, I have always told you, me a one client attorney. Mm. Me and lawyer, na one client I get. And my client is President Dr. Julius Madabio. If he tell me, say, this is what I want you to go and say or do, for me, with the Minister of Communication, Technology and Innovation, I will gladly go there and I get experience. And I possibly we are go like for the work with. Because I also had ideas, because I was in that ministry before. And I go say I'm now again, I said it yesterday and I said it before. No ministry not in this country were able to generate revenue for Sierra Leone. Reach the Ministry of Communication now. Now that we the disaggregator from information, this ministry gave a focus on developing the technological base, on developing the legal systems, and at the same time, developing revenue generating measures for Sierra Leone. Why do I say this? In Africa, we talk about uh, mineral resources. We talk about our fisheries and agriculture as being the main gener revenue generation. I say no. Now, the new technology mm. has a bigger potential. In 2013, 2013, when I was Minister of Information, when my colleague, the Minister of Finance, went to read the budget, in the revenue streams, He put, say, from mining all that year, 2030, we get 60 million. From fisheries, 40 million. And agriculture exports come to about 20 million. So total revenue from three key ministries of $120 million. And then now he puts all others, about 280 million. So I went to him. I said, where is the revenue stream for communication? And I said, he said, oh, no, they all under and I said, OK. Mm -hmm. I said, so how do we know how much we have brought into the economy? You sink her inside. You know, for hide and for it. Now, again, two examples. I pulled the revenue payments of Airtel that year to government. Now, $112 million, one company. And AfriCell, 93 million that year. Where at just for those two, 112 and 93, you don't pass 200 million. About well, 210 to 15 million. Compared to 120, 130 for all three big ministries put together. And this is just two companies at the time. I've not been going to the service providers yet. I've not go to even the radio and television. Just those two companies. So I say, well, you don't believe, say, we for put my effort in revenue generation and this technology arm? I think, say, now that place, then we don't see so. We make, we carve them out. So we are looking to my daughter, Honorable, well, once you are approved, we'll call you Honorable Salima Monomaba. That now be big load you told so. Mm. I call her my daughter because the same age as my daughter and they went to school together, they know mm. each other. I say, now big load you told. You will be the main revenue earner for Sierra Leone. We go make we reduce with dependence on aid and on aid. That's your lot. And with the kind of experience where you don't get from DSTI. From the education where you don't go take Colombia and uh, Wales and all that, 
and the law school here in Sierra Leone. And we say, you're able to put all of those things together, make you design the algorithms, we will make Sierra Leone earn as much as it can. And don't forget, the electromagnetic spectrum now has been designated as one of our valued assets in Sierra Leone, okay. alongside the diamond and gold. Thank um, you very much. Um, quick, quickly, uh, uh, um, as for the time for round up, I want to ask this question. You know, most of the people that you campaign with, we've been doing a president's beyond campaign, some of them, like um, the former chief minister, Jacob Jusu Safa, and the foreign minister, um, a house of government. Um, is there anything wrong with, with um, bringing new phases? Is, or is that the president's objective of changing the phases of governance? Some of the people I admire most in management mm. are them football club managers. Mm. They read the game. At some point, you will see there is that placard and say, come make them substitute you. Not because you are not good, but maybe because at the stage where the game don't reach, you need somebody with different skills, different approach, for let the game turn around. And this game which I reached this time is the legacy period. President Bill do achieve, do achieve a lot in the new direction, manifesto. It now gets an objective for deliver on food security, feed salon. Don't forget, say, Pakabab in Tokam. And I've also heard another president outside of this continent, uh, the president of Brazil now, stuck to we in Malabo. He say, when he take power in Brazil, he say, in biggest aim, President Luis Onasio uh, the Silva. The Silva. He say, my aim was to make sure that every Brazilian gets three square meals a day. So it's not just here where people have that. And since then, I've admired him. That is why he's able to come, go. He done in two terms. He don't go. He's able to come back. The people want him because of what he did do for them. Because they are basic things. And President Bill, he got the education right. We just don't see how they celebrate the NPSC results. Moridin principle, very proud. We said, now put local Kamasundo. We are happy because one of our children came 11th. Mm. And because of the free education, it didn't reach out to everybody. That, for now, is a given. Everybody soon say, anybody with them born in Sierra Leone, we don't pass three years, you go to school free of charge. So that has been achieved. So he said, the next focus now is feed salon. We're in, in uh, Luis Ignacio da Silva in policy. We help him for around two terms, and he don't come back after three terms outside of government. So President Bill got this, and that is going to be his legacy. So he's putting his team together. And you even take me, put me in the left wing. Mm -hmm. Why not ask why he put me there? Because somebody else, he believes, can do it better than uh, at this moment in time. He will do it better than me can. He bring me somewhere else where he say I'm better. So some of those people who, who you have not seen mentioned, and for me, until President Bill don't do all the appointments, and he has a 966, if you know, don't pass, appointive jobs. Where he can give. In the appointment people. 966. It's a lot. So if they just pull 10, 15 people for now, you know, we say you don't pull them. Maybe they are going to redeploy them elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So that is why I will not make any comment until that is finished. Mm -hmm. And then I talk with them. They go tell me what. But of course, new leaders will not tell you their secrets mm -hmm. of how they, 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 they strategize. Otherwise, Joseph, go learn from that. Uh, mm. m moving forward, the Bureau-led government don't promise the people of this country um, over 500,000 jobs, and you make mention of 
you know, youth employment where it's supposed to be, you know, the mantra as to the move on and, you know, for ensure human capital development. What do you go say, you know, to the people of this country for walk up to the task and actually use them, the, the jobs their way, would they hope for? It is priority number three in the five pillars we come up with. Feed salon, number one. Education, number two. Employment, especially for the youth, number three. Restructuring the civil service, number four. And enhance, using enhanced, enhanced technology to improve revenue and skills in the country, number five. And it's made sure that you don't make a ministry, sector ministry for each of those. Agriculture existed, but we don't set up now a presidential initiative. We say in self the Sidom, where Dr. Tikane Umkela will be sitting there too, together with the sector ministers and some experts for device policy, we will carry forward for the next five years. That is the biggest employer, agriculture. Why we know the CM as an employment now? 70, 75% of the people are employed in agriculture, but they are underemployed because the revenue within they get from it, the income within they get from it, it's not much to go by. So they consider themselves unemployed. When you are underemployed, it's almost like you're unemployed. So 70, 75% of our people are working, but they are in the fields, manual labor. So President Bill don't decide, say, he's going to mechanize where mechanization is important. He is going to innovate where innovation is important. And he is also going to strategize what strategy is called for. And then he will bring the employment ministry. We used to have a ministry of labor and social security, not specifically designed for employ. That is, if you're already in employment, you have issues and all that, you go to the labor ministry. Mm. But this time, it has set up a ministry called Employment, Labor, and Social Security, which means that there are going to be steps taken for bring in measures. We will employ every skilled person, unskilled people, those that need training, or retraining, they go train them and make sure that we have them. So he has a target of 500,000 within these five years for going into, that's half a million people in Sierra Leone. So what, you don't start safe before yeah. even we voted him back into power. The SIZ, the, the special economic, special well, I didn't call that Industrial I, zone. Industrial zone, Nakoya, mm -hmm. in my own district. We, I was there at the luncheon. I don't read a lot of literature about the IIP, Integrated Infrastructure Something Something Company. Mm -hmm. we, Arise we, IIP. Arise IIP. We get experience of doing this in other countries. I read what they did in Gabon, mm. Benin, Togo maybe. And here, they already have lined up about 50 companies. We want for CAM based on that SIZ, they want SIZ in the Port Local District. By the time that will finish, maybe the next one will be in Pujan. The next one may be in Bo. So we'll have several SIZs in most districts. Okay. So this time, unlike the Ghanaian policy say they will put one factory per, chief, per district, here we are putting SIZs in districts. And we have the right partners for that. They arise IIP, they seem committed for that. So the youth, what you need to do is train. Train something to do. The youth they were admiring in West Africa are the youth of Guinea. Everybody gets killed. Okay. Fi Everybody. Finally, as we decide for let you go, um, this discussion about national cohesion and President Bio sending out an olive branch, you hear it from the Speaker of Parliament as well, doing the same and calling on um, the main opposition for return to Parliament. Um, which word from the presidency 
you go on left with, um, you know, people the way they listen and they look forward to say, um, this seeming stalemate go, they addressed and the country go move uh, along um, with the opposition returning to parliament and uh, the co their concerns being addressed. Yeah. I think if I go back, President Bill when they swear, I mean, the first thing he did is say, on a calm level all work. He actually called Dr. Samurai in him, symbolically, for represent all the other people in the opposition, for say, look, I am open for let collaborate and move Sierra Leone together. And in the appointment of his cabinet, usually when you have the APC in power, by the time they nominate cabinet done, you go and say, oh, well, now we show some stars, meaning they're coming from the north. When you have the SLPP in power, eh, well, now we Rangers, because most people, you know. But this cabinet, where President Bio will appoint, it should say, you don't throw the bait for anybody who's interested in national cohesion for camp. The appointments them we make, 36% of them are from the north. The south, when I in base, is 27%. The east, 19%. And the west here, 9%. So that you don't show, see, the bulk of the appointments. And in fact, the first, very first cabinet list we pull, the very top people are all northerners. Not so? Yes. Minister of Finance, Fantamari, Bangura, from Kukuna, in Brahmaya Chifto, Cambia District, Attorney General, from the North, Mohamed Lamin Tarawali, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Timothy Musakaba, from my house, Nami Onkulin Pekin, Nakum Babai, Lokom Sama. Now, see, then they go sit on a Kenny Maui and Bonan, the Palaji. In fact, they host in the corner and look at my summer house. All right? And then after that, even have the deputy, Attorney General, <coughs> Alpha CC. And then you have the deputy minister of finance, Bakari Kaloko. And then the minister of trade, that is uh, Ibrahim Alpha CC again. The Minister of Technical and Higher Education, Dr. Ramatulai Wuri, from Binti. And then Deputy Minister of uh, Fisheries, Haja Aisata Abdullahi, from Tinkatupa, in Vodloko District. And then you have the Deputy Minister of Trade, Fatmata Wuri, from Safroko. You see, when you look at this, if I keep rolling it, you will not say this part on through eh? the bit for there. We all catch that bit there and can't join them. And Sierra Leone does need that. Okay. So before you close on me, I did make another appeal. So, my brothers, they're my brothers. We used to be colleagues until two months ago. Who not drive me? No, not drive me. No, no, answer me. And of course, you know, go left me like be a free agent, so I go find club for play for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I did beg you say, me and Alpha can. I know say all of the policies we want to put now, the decisions we want to make, they are wrong, constitutionally wrong. Nothing other the way will water. None. Staying out of parliament is wrong. You've been voted for by your people. You tell them, say, you want to go represent them? Let me vote for me. I'm going to tell them, say, me say, they go represent you now. So they voted for you. Then today now, you see, you know, they go. You are cheating your people. And it is not for today. Now for next time, we go and power, I go to them. They say, not to that woman who will vote for Tradi, or that woman who will vote for you, not come again for me. But they all look at that person. In Potloko district, we are 550,000 people, 550. Five, now, 10 seats we get. APC don't take six, 60% of that for SLPP. So, you want to tell me that those 60% of the people are not forget representation? Because you, 
the father an unlawful dictate. Mm -hmm. It's very, very unlawful. The Constitution does say that. Government has been sworn in. Government don't they. Parliament don't open. But the sad thing is that if we do not go, those seats will not remain empty. Normally, if not be first past the post, they go declare them vacant after 30 days, 30 sittings, and then we go into what you call by election. But with the PR, we we'll don't get by election. We have a list. In Potloko, we can get 10 seats. We in the SLPP, we get 20 nominees for those seats. APC, we not get 20. PDP, I think, say them. And 10 or something like that. So there are about 50 people who have been voted for to parliament. Every single one of those 50 have been voted for. Not only they vote for no more. They vote for everybody within that list. In fact, some of you within at the front will not get as many votes as people who are not in at the front today. So they equally have a right to go and represent their people because they are MPs elect. Okay. Councillors elect. So if you don't go, the Constitution says, when there is a vacancy, it must be filled. And how do you fill that? You go back to the list. The next person will be invited. Okay. And if they don't go, and the next, and the next, and the next. Until all their 50, then they talk, say they know they go. So please, for your own sake, for your future, you are young people, go. And you talk to them. Please go. Okay. That will not get nothing for the Whit Party. It has to do with service to the nation. Thank you very much. Um, Presidential spokesman Alaji Alpha Kanu is a you know, defensive midfielder now. Yes, yes, yes. Defensive midfielder. Okay. Thank you very much for talking to me this morning. And um, I'm sure we'll be getting you uh, more frequently now for talk on the policies and programs of the president as um, the government is continuing the next five years. Um, this is our Wake Up Sierra Leone special edition. Um, Sierra Leone decides as we look at the post elections and uh, emerging issues as well. Let us thank to Una viewers and listeners them. We don't join with this morning and to the one that we don't follow in our, our Facebook as well. Thanks to the production and technical team and plenty thank to we guests them we don't join with this morning. The program will continue tomorrow. Tete will meet back. My name is Amadula Mwenaba. And me Nazulaya Tuhamid continue to watch AYP.